Hi guys, Mercury is here. Welcome to this tutorial on how to change the thermal grease on the processors of your computers. Uh, so why would you want to do that? Well, um, in my case, for example, I had very high temperatures on the CPU when watching streaming videos and movies. So I've decided to go ahead and um, change the thermal grease so to achieve uh, lower temperatures. I expect uh, to lower temperatures from 85 degrees Celsius to about 78 or something like that, okay? Um, so this will help the, the life of my laptop to, to be extended a, a little bit more. Um, so, um, for this tutorial I'm going to use specifically a MacBook uh, White, late 2006, uh, but um, of course um, the principle for changing the, changing the thermal grease on computers applies to desktop and laptops of all brands. So, um, one last thing before I start, um, I want to recommend you uh, downloading the service manual or disassembly manual for your own laptop or uh, computer, okay? So, and use this video as a support to that document. So, uh, without further ado, uh, let's get started. Now the tools we need for um, unscrewing all the screws around the MacBook it's um, a Philip screwdriver double zero when, in, when it comes to clean the processor from the old thermal grease we use a few of these and some 90% uh, 96% 90 alcohol it's pure alcohol, all right? Oh yeah, and I almost forgot, of course, we need uh, some thermal grease. Uh, first of all, we're gonna have to turn our MacBook upside down, unlock the battery, and take it out, just like that. Now, with a finger we touch metal part of the battery compartment just to discharge any static electricity that we might have and we start unscrewing this basal here it is a piece of metal that is holding the hard disk drive which is inside here and from where you can also change the two RAMs modules 1 and 2 so I'm just turn this around and I'm gonna unscrew there are like three screws let's see how close I can get in here it's like um, one it's like two and three three screws basically All right so let me just unscrew them Okay, once you got them unscrewed, just take this metal piece off, this metal part off. Alright, let's put it aside so we can have a clear table. And basically, to unlock the RAM modules, we just pull these tabs here. One, don't be afraid afraid of using a little bit of force and they should come out just like that so be careful not to touch the gold parts of these modules okay I've touched them before it's not a big deal but you know technicians um, recommend not to touch them so we put them aside carefully we really run optimized in this case it's MacBook you need to have two identical modules for 
the computer to work in double channel to op optimize the exchange of data between the RAM and the processor. All right, we pull this tag off, which is the the tag that will allow us to pull out the hard disk drive. Put it aside. Um, now we need to unscrew from the right side of the computer the file. 5.5 millimeter long shoulder screw. I also like to use some blue tack just to remind me of where the screws go. So just take them off and put them there. Take them off and put them there. Just like that. Alright? They shouldn't move. Just like that. Okay, so now we turn it around and we're gonna remove these two screws here. One and two. Okay, so now we're gonna remove the back screws, one and two, which are I believe eight millimeters long, and the external ones which are 12 millimeter longs. So you go one, two, three, and four. All right. Now let's turn uh, upside down our uh, MacBook and let's start unscrewing. The bottom case screws. There's three of them, and now we're gonna remove the screws here. Some of them, not all of them. So uh, starting at the corner closest to the battery connector, we skip the first screw and then remove the second, the fourth, the seventh, and the ninth screw. Second. Fourth, seventh, and the ninth. This one and this one. All right, guys, and now we need to take three screws. So it's going to be one two and three. The third one which is closest to the battery connection it's a bit longer it's 4.5 millimeter whereas the, the two of them are three millimeters all right so let's do that okay now that the um, bottom in case it's completely unscrewed from the rest of the laptop uh, we need to turn this thing around we tilt the screen open at 90 degrees or more and we start with this card and uh, from the left corner here we go under the ledge here and start to put pressure there you go Yeah, it comes out pretty easily. Just never force it. Be sweet and gentle.
Now be very careful, careful with the connectors just down here. All right, there's the connectors that uh, connect the, uh, the keyboard, which is also the top cover uh, with the motherboard. So you need to tilt it open like this. Now as I can see, I'm using a pen just to keep the the upper case open. And with my two finger, I'm gonna try to grab the, the tab and pull it upwards gently. There you go. You see? There you go. It's been completely disconnected. Alright? So let's put this aside. So I remove these two screws that keep that keep the fan attached to the motherboard and I blue tuck them just by the 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 holes where they belong to. Okay, and now I'm gonna proceed and remove um, the screws here. One, two, three, and four of the heat sink. Let me tilt them up. Let me see if this comes out too. Everything should come out okay. Don't use any force. Well, now the fan has come out. Great. Right. 